Hi, everybody. Um, time for some more card flips. And I'm going to focus on the Halloween ones since it's Halloween season. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> Let me flip cameras so that you can see what's going on. I got to take off the virtual background. There we go. Now we've got it. Okay. Now, the first deck we're going to be using here is Solitary Witch Oracle for Love, Wisdom, and Light for Your Magical Path. And it's by Lucy Cavendish, which also did the, um, what was it? Oracle of Shadows and Light. She also did that one. I've done a card flip on that deck as well, and it's really cool. And it's illustrated by Lady Victoria. So um, let's get going, shall we? Here we go. This is the front of the box. Solitary Witch Oracle. And I'll move that to the side here. And here we go. Hey, Wishes. Her herb garden. These cards are so slick. Okay. The Beltane Lover. Look closer. She is not lonely. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it right in here. There's an owl and some other cool little bits around the, the picture there. And it says, the comforts of friendship. Nothing like having somebody to sit and have a cup of coffee with or a hot cup of tea or even a soda pop. Um, okay. She sleeps with the stars. I love this picture. I love to sleep outdoors. I know people think I'm weird, but I just really like to sleep outside. Comes from growing up with a sleeping porch in the south where we would all camp out on the screen in porch and sleep outside. Okay, next up we've got the dance of water. And then the healing tree at Lila, it looks like. Yule's night. The next journey beckons. Oh, yes. Time to take a journey. The witch shows her daughter the moon. The cat's there, too, I see. And the owl is in the tree limbs up in the window. Her knowledge runs deep. It's one of the joys, whether you're a Wiccan or not. But I find that... People in a pagan and Wiccan faith tend to honor their ancestors a lot deeper. Um, that's just my personal observation. The 13th uh, what does that say? The 13th Fistful. Okay, sorry. I can't read upside down. It says self-initiation. Sweet austera harvest. Was she once a sulky? Ooh, good question. There are other conversations. Absolutely. Her book of shadows. And again, whether if you are Wiccan or not, a book of shadows, a journal, a spiral bound notebook, whatever you use to write down your thoughts, write down your magic in whatever shape or form it takes. The gathering. The maiden and the embolic lamb. Magical manifestations or manifestation. It's on the end of that. 
the maiden, the mother, the crone. I've lived all three, and I'm now a crone, and so very thankful that I've made it this far. Spells from the heart. The crone in winter. Ancestors and apples. Because that's where we gain our wisdom. Nearing sky clad. That's when you go dance under the moon in your birthday suit. Some still do that, some don't. Depends on the coven, depends on the person, depends on what you're comfortable with. Spells of rose and cacao. A Samhain sending. The releasement. When fretful times come, that's it. Take stock in what's around you. There's so much to be thankful for. The company of trees. And sometimes she changes. Yes, as you can see her tail there. Maybe she was a selfie. Once upon another time. Don't we all love stories that start like that? The blessing and the banishing candle. A gentle path of inspiration. The witch's house. Her little cauldron. The milk of the mother flows. The garden of hallowed moonlight. Lognasad, forgiveness and justice. I think I said that correctly. I may have butchered it. I don't know. A broom of her own. She is moonlit sky. The charging of her wand. She is 1,000 flowers and very, very pregnant. Transcendent amidst, transcendent amidst the everyday. And that's it. That's the end of that deck. Hope y'all enjoy this one. And we've got, I've got three more Halloween decks I'm going to show y'all. Try to get them all filmed today if I can. And um, enjoy your Halloween. Bye for now.